everybody, welcome to Teresa's World. It's the second week of September 2023 and I'm in South Devon and I'm staying at Carrageen Campsite which is about a mile away from Hope Cove. I'd like to show you where I'm staying and what I do, I'll put this uh, video under Devon and also under campsite reviews. Although it's not a re review as such, I just show you where I'm staying. You do have to navigate some narrow lanes to get here, but you will finally reach your destination. You will see this sign and that takes you to the reception where you book in. I have to say that did confuse me a little bit saying Carrageen House um, because I was looking for Carrageen Campsite and I wasn't sure is this right isn't it but anyway I did turn in and it is correct it's right carry on in and that's where you book in it's just me being a being like check in you can see the reception over there the shop is open from half eight to half ten in the morning and from five half past five till seven o'clock in the evening and it just um, sells basic things you know milk and um, biscuits and cereals and things like that okay. so it's divided into um, a top field and a main camping field I'm on the main camping field that way but I'm going to show you the top field so this is the top field and as you can see it benefits from beautiful views. Sorry, the sun is in the lens, but I'll turn it around there. You're probably wondering why I'm not camped up here because knowing me, I normally would be, but two words, electric hookup. I do believe he does have electric hookup uh usually but i think it's been disconnected for some reason i think it's because it's coming to the end of the season i'm not sure about that anyway there wasn't electric hookup up here for me this time round i need to tell you this is a top notch site it was quite a bit more expensive than average sites however you're paying for a superb location and top notch facilities so now let me take you to the lose so the caravan and camping park is through there but i'm going to go this way and take you to the facilities you see these statics most of them i believe are privately owned uh, but i think carrageen own um, a couple of these and rent them out so you may want to inquire about doing that so the shower and toilet facilities are just here there are disabled and family facilities. I'm told the water supply for this site, for this campsite, is from a natural spring. Uh, they choose to charge 20p for showers and for the washing up, um, really to stop people from wasting water. So from the showers, obviously toilets and vanity area, um, plenty of loos. And you've even got Marilyn Monroe. There's a nice kitchen area and also a laundry area. Tumble dryers, washing machines, information and freezers for freezer packs. You do need 20 peas to wash up. I have to say, I did feel a little bit disgruntled about having to pay 20p to wash up. I don't mind in the showers, but for washing up as well. Oh, and I know it's a spring, but then it is an expensive campsite. But you take it or leave it. Simple as that. The chemical waste is here. And I think that is the entrance to the gents. So now let me take you to the main camping field. This campsite is simply set in beautiful scenery. As you enter the camping field, if you are 
along this hedge on the right hand side show you in a moment you do get a sea view um, it's just through there um, but I'm afraid because it's a bit cloudy and the, and the sea's a bit grey I think the sea is kind of verging converging with the sky this evening you come down to the second terrace a nice feed up there nice little bay and then the third terrace is there Woodman Terrace I am on Valley View Plateau and it goes further on round oh there's a there's a fourth terrace there and they are very well spaced out pitches sorry the sun keeps catching the lens valley view there we go nice t25 there and lovely big tent there would I stay here again um, yes I would come here again I haven't really gone out in the camper because those lanes are so narrow so I've just had a week here to chill um, I will put this particular vlog um, this particular video vlog I never know what to call it in the playlist under Devon and also under campsite reviews bye bye trees as well